These are the hematologic changes in normal pregnancy. Your plasma volume and your red blood cells change. Your plasma volume increases by about 30 to 50% by term. Your red blood cell mass increases by 20 to 30%, which is notably less than your plasma volume. So because your plasma volume increases more than your red blood cell mass, you'll have a dilutional anemia. This is a physiologic dilutional anemia. You, your normal hemoglobin in the second trimester is at least 10.5, and in the first and third trimesters is at least 11. White blood cells also change. Your white blood cell count increases to 9 to 15,000. This is primarily due to neutrophils, a neutrophilia. This peaks, your white blood cells go up to 29,000, and it tends to return to normal about six days after delivery. Platelets may decrease slightly, but they typically stay within the normal range. You can also have gestational thrombocytopenia, where your platelet counts drop uh, to below 150,000. This resolves postpartum as well. You have some coagulation changes. Overall, during pregnancy, you're prothrombotic. You have an increase in procoagulant factors, like fibrinogen factors 7, 8, 10, and 12. You also have a decrease in anticoagulant factor, protein S, which of course makes you more prothrombotic. You have reduced fibrinolysis, and these changes also resolve postpartum after about six to eight weeks. Some requirements during pregnancy, you need more iron, about one gram. Uh, you need more folate and vitamin B12, and of course you usually get these through supplementation. These changes support pregnancy needs, prepare for delivery, but they can also increase the risk of thrombosis.